So this is my second review for the house of La Parfumerie Moderne. We reviewed Anne's Fall last year for Saffler Bond. And today in this Saffler Bond contributor review video, we're taking on the latest release called Bell's Reeves, this right here. You're also gonna have a chance at winning a full bottle of Bell's Reeves all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And yes, we did review Anis Foll last year, but this year, La Parfumerie Moderne has launched Bell's Reeves, this right here. This was launched at Pitti in Italy, uh, Florence, uh, earlier in September, and I was there and I got to meet the creative di director, owner, Philippe, from the brand and that's when he launched this fragrance. And I smelled it there and I immediately loved it because it had some of the notes that I've been really interested in lately. One thing I learned about the brand that I did not know from Philippe is the fact that all their fragrances are based on hotels or inspired by hotels. So this is called Bell's Reeves. And then previously we had Anne's Fall and then the, the brand also has three other fragrances called Queer X, Desarmont, and also No Sports. So they've got a great collection of fragrances and I'm a fan of several of them, including the latest one. So Bell's Reeves is 2017 launch. It's Eau de Parfum concentration. 100 ml like this retails for $220. And the perfumer behind this fragrance and all the fragrances from La Parfumerie Moderne is Marc-Antoine Corticchiato. If you don't know Marc-Antoine Corticchiato, he is the perfumer for uh, I think all of the fragrances for Parfum de Empire, and I'm a big fan of that brand as they release some really excellent uh, fragrances, just like what's released here with Bell's Reeves. So in Bell's Reeves, at the top, you've got bergamot, incense, and myrrh. In the heart notes, you've got iris butter, osmanthus, and jasmine sandback. And in the base notes, you've got cedar, vetiver, and cosmone. And cosmone is a very rich musk from Givaudan. So Bell's Reeves sprays very fresh and incense-y at the top with a bit of the resins from the myrrh. And as the fragrance is developing, you start picking up the creamy iris butter. It's a little powdery at the same time it's creamy. So you've got a little bit of both there. And then that osmanthus kind of kicks in, uh, becomes a little fruity and floral. And of course, more uh, floral notes pop up with the jasmine sandback note in the heart. As this is going on, the fragrance starts drying and drying and becomes woodier and woodier. And it becomes more cedary with vetiver. So it's a bit earthy, woody. And then of course the cosmone, the very, very beautiful and sexy rich musk that is at the base as well develops and kicks in. The fragrance actually becomes very sexy as it's drying down. At the top, it's not as sexy, but once it's dried down and closer to your skin is when it's really, really sexy. And at this time, I'm getting whiffs off of me and I'm thinking, gosh, what's that sexy smell I'm wearing? It's really, really beautiful. Oh, that's right. It's Belle's Reeves from La Parfumerie Moderne. It's uh, quite unique that way. For some reason, I find iris and fragrances to be very, very sexy to me, especially since if you're a fan of things like Dior Homme and that line of fragrances, I find those fragrances for men to be very, very sexy and also kind of on the unisex side, not necessarily very masculine, although they are masculine fragrances. Uh, same with uh, Bell's Reeves. It's very, very sexy and I find this to be very, very unisex also. Perfect for a man and perfect for a woman. It's equally down the unisex line. So uh, it's not too feminine or it's not too masculine. It's just totally, totally wearable by both sexes and very, very sexy. I think a, a couple can share this. Uh, a man and a woman, they both can smell great wearing it. And um, such a, a gorgeous release from this house and very, very uh, sexy in a way that I keep wanting to smell it more. And I keep spraying more because it smells really, really gorgeous, if that makes sense. It's not too loud, it's not too close to the skin. It's just a perfect balance of beauty in a, a spray when you spray it. And for me, I spray about three to four sprays with this one and I'm happy pretty much for the whole day. And as soon as my body temperature keeps heating up, I get whiffs of that sexiness and I find it to be a really, really uh, satisfying release. If you don't know the house of La Parfumerie Moderne, I think you definitely should check out. It's a great house with excellent releases, one after another, each one is beautiful and gorgeous. And then now with the latest one, Bell's Reeves, created by Marc Antoine Corticchiato, another winner for me from this house. The bottles are really also gorgeous. They're really, really nicely designed bottles and a very Art Deco inspired uh, presentation. And each bottle has a different color. This one's the dark green. But here we have an awesome release from the house of La Parfumerie Moderne. Please do check it out. And 
In the meantime, if you have no way to access the fragrances, you can head over to safflebond.com. There should be a link in the info box. Go there and participate in the giveaway for a full bottle if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA, Canada, or Europe. Good luck with the giveaway. Please follow their rules as they have specific rules. You definitely have to register there and put a comment in and the, the bottle is worth $220, so it's definitely worth it. So good luck with that. Also guys, do you know this brand, La Parfumerie Moderne? Have you tried any of their fragrances? Do you like any of these releases? Do you know Bell's Reeves? Let me know your thoughts. Please put comments down so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.